Hey, what is up you guys? If you're new here, my name is Grace and I live in an old single wide and I do click cooking. <laughs> I do cooking and cleaning motivation and if y'all are expecting a spotless and organized house, this ain't it. I hate to break it to you, but it's just not. We do what we can and that is good enough. If you just got laundry done today and that is all you did, that is good enough. You are doing good. You did something today. It's not about going, going, going all the time. It's, it's doing what we can, getting it done. Our house ain't perfect. It's lived in and that is okay. So let's get into this video today, y'all. So my light ring just broke. Uh, so y'all are going to have to like bear with me. So I guess I'm gonna have to order another one. This is like the second light ring I went through. making some homemade bread today I would have it at a better angle but like I said I tried to fix my light ring I tried to put some electrical tape on it it's where it tightens up and it makes it flimsy so oh well yeah but we're gonna make some bread today so first what we're gonna need is two cups of warm water now, the next thing we're going to do is get a tablespoon of sugar and let it dissolve in that warm water. Now, you're going to add your packet of dry yeast to your warm water. Now, what we're going to do is stir our yeast up and we're going to allow it allow it to prove until yeast resembles a creamy foam. Probably about five minutes or so what it might take. So we're gonna sit, let that sit and uh, let it get foamy. Now this recipe makes two loaves of bread and it's really 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 good. Uh, I love it and you know there for a while I was making homemade bread a lot and I kind of got out of it um, there's a lot of things that I kind of didn't do no more or that I kind of stopped doing when I was pregnant and I've not really got back into the habit of doing it so it's something I definitely want to get back in the habit of doing and oh, there's just a bunch of stuff I'm hoping that maybe next year I was hoping for a garden this year, but it didn't happen. So, maybe next year, though. You never know. Alright, y'all. Our yeast has become foamy. So, now we are going to add one and a half teaspoons of salt. Alright, now we're going to add half a cup of sugar in here. We'll add just a little bit more for good measure. Do I measure, go by, like, the recipe down to it? No. Okay, now we're going to add a, whoop, almost dumped all my stuff out. Now we're going to add a, if I can get the lid open, <laughs> we're going to add a fourth of a cup of oil. Sure, got everything in here that needs to be in here. All right. Okay. Now we're gonna add a 
our all-purpose flour. It's going to be about five to six cups, and we are going to add a cup at a time. Now, I'm probably going to be using, I got white lily. I love using white lily. That is my favorite, but I do got some off-brand over here that I had bought a while back that needs to be used up, so we are going to use it. I ain't got much left in this bag. this off because I ain't really got enough room to dump it in. So I'm going to put one cup in there. That makes it up. See if I can pour this. I got my dough hook on the thing. So far, I'm going to see it needs to pull away from the edges and it's not doing that yet. So I'm going to see if I need to add another cup in there. You just got to play with it, y'all. Alright, so while my dough is needed, I'm going to oil make a bowl, bowl to put my oil in I just don't I'm just going to get a little bit of oil. was flying my surface put it on there and just kind of kneaded it a little bit until I got it in this little bowl now we're gonna put it in our bowl coat it with oil and let it sit so now what I'm gonna do is put my cloth over my bowl and let it rise
eventually tackle this bed ring. I've been saying that for a while. Y'all, I just don't... I get overwhelmed. I mean, it's not really... Well, it is a lot of stuff right there. Some of it needs to be like in storage. I get overwhelmed, like, to the point of where I start kind of getting anxiety. And I just want to start bawling. Like, okay, yesterday, I had my sewing machine out. All right, y'all. Brand new sewing machine my husband got me for my birthday. This first time using it. And I was trying to make having Haven a shirt. She wanted one of her daddy's work shirts because that's what she wanted to do when she growed up. It was career day. And I was trying to sew it to where it would fit her. I don't know what I did wrong. Somehow I broke the daggum needle. And I got so just overwhelmed by that. And I'm like, good grief. So that's part of my problem on trying to get organized and stuff. Sometimes I get really overwhelmed. I've got to, I mean, I've sure enough got to be in the mood to get organized. Are you having fun, Oki? Yeah. All right, y'all. I got my dough. I rolled it back out, put a little flour, rolled it cut in half, and got it put in my loaf pans. Now I'm going to cover these loaf pans up, and I'm going to let them rise for about 30 minutes. And I will put a screenshot here of the recipe, if y'all can read my handwriting. Don't come at me if I misspell something, because half the time when I'm writing a recipe down, I'm in a hurry, or I got kids running around, and I'm not really like 100% focused, so... But I will leave it right here for y'all. y'all can smell this house right now this house be smelling so good it smells like a bread bakery that stuff mm, it's gonna be good 
told my husband that I was making homemade bread. And he's like, man. He's like, I'm mad. I said, why? He said, because I ain't going to be there when it gets out of the oven. Because usually when I make it, uh, he's here. I pretty much need to make a double batch when he's here because he'll eat a whole loaf right out of the oven. Now, I know this wasn't much of a cleaning video. I did do a lot today, but a lot of it I didn't film because of my, uh, lightroom stand being broke, so it was kind of difficult to film everything today. But, uh, I hope y'all enjoyed it. I hope y'all can make this bread recipe. It sure is good. I'm gonna have to start back... I want to, y'all know this, I, I say I want to do stuff and then I end up not doing it. I don't know why I'm like that. I get in these moods and like, I'm going to do this and then, um, I don't know why I do that. But, I do, I say I do, I need a schedule, <laughs> but whether I stick to it, that's the thing. I need to start, <laughs> maybe I can sit down and write something down here after a while and make myself stick to it and have like days where I bake bread. Uh, I thought about making a pan of biscuits and freezing them having, or you just heat them up in the morning have a jelly biscuit. I don't know. I try not to make too much of it, a lot of stuff, because I don't want it to burn or go to waste, which I guess I can keep the biscuits if they all don't get ate, I can use them for dressing. But I really need to make me a schedule and get things back. I used to have a set schedule, and I don't know really what happened. I kind of got off of it. And ever since then, I'm just kind of here, there, and yonder. So, I need to get back on that and figure out to be more productive, I guess. But you know what? It's okay. If you're not productive every single day, it is fine, okay? It is. You taking care of your kids and you're doing what you need to do, sometimes the house can just wait. And it's kind of like me. I have to run around and Oakley gets into everything, y'all. She does. I mean, as soon as I turn my back, just for a second, she's she's gone somewhere else, getting into something. So, I spend most of my day chasing her around all day. I could keep her in the, I ain't going to keep her in this darn pack and play all day where she can't run around and play. So, I just choose to, I do what I can and run around and chase her. It makes it ten times harder, but I do what I got to do. So, you know, if you're a mama... You don't get everything done like you feel like your expectations. It's okay. Don't be too hard on yourself. And you, you working mama, don't be too hard on yourself trying to rush and rush and clean the house. And You know what? It can wait some days. Do what you can. But I hope y'all enjoyed this video. And until next time, we'll see y'all later. Bye y'all.